The ghost town in Grand Theft Auto 3 is no longer a ghost town. And did you ever notice this floating head in this cutscene in Vice City? Today, y'all, we're taking a look at 10 things removed from Grand Theft Auto's trilogy, the Definitive Edition. And no, we're not talking about the PC version being removed, which I still can't play. I should get a refund at this point. Aside from all the bugs and everything going on, how are y'all enjoying the experience so far? Have you played the older Grand Theft Auto games before? Are you going down memory lane? Let me know down below in the comments. And if y'all enjoyed this video and learned something new, I hope that I can earn your thumbs up for the algorithm. I'll wait. And also your subscription. Hit that clucking bell and help us reach 1 million subscribers on the channel. Starting off with a bit of a controversial topic, let's talk about Phil Cassidy. So this is a character who has appeared in four different Grand Theft Auto games, and we see his evolution over time from 1984 to 2001 in Grand Theft Auto 3, and it's pretty amazing. I've mentioned it before on the channel, but this is the guy who got his right arm blown off in Vice City, and in GTA 3, it's his left arm that's blown off. So the change that we see in Phil is on his shirt, and we actually saw this in the trailer trilogy definitive edition trailer the first one or the only one that rockstar released and on his shirt there was a flag it's a topic of controversy i've got to avoid saying it because youtube censors everything so this flag has actually been removed and replaced with a skull as we move on to GTA San Andreas, the topic is going to stay the same here, but another change that we can see is in the mission Home Invasion, where you got to go break into this old man's house. And I remember way back in the day, this mission always gave me a little bit of trouble, but the change that we see in this mission also has to do with that same flag. So right when you walk into the house, it used to be hanging up right there in the entryway wall. And now that flag has been replaced with the United States of America flag. All right, so this one is a pretty cool one. In the mission Messing with the Man in GTA Vice City, in the original Vice City, there was a glitch. It was a bug, and in the background of the initial cutscene for this mission, you could see a man. His head is floating in the floor like he's morphed into it, and it's a very minor detail, but it's been around since the very beginning. Uh, this, this bug, this glitch, whatever you want to call it, has always been something pretty neat to see because it's just an oversight that it takes a real keen eye to notice. Well, this keen eye that I have noticed that it has since been removed from the mission messing with the man after all these years 19 years of floating around in this floor this poor man has either sat down his legs gave out or he finally found a way out but either way he is no longer there number four the suicidal photographer in GTA San Andreas so in the original GTA San Andreas there is an NPC known as the suicidal photographer who appears in the Flint County region near Baco Beyond and outside of Los Santos. And in this area, you will see an NPC that it he walks up, he takes a picture, and then he walks into the water and he drowns. And that's where his term or his phrase is coined. And this is one of the biggest myths in GTA San Andreas that's been around forever. And I need your help on this one to verify this 100%. But where I'm at in the game, I'm not sure if my progress interferes with this pedestrian or not. But I cannot find this photographer in San Andreas at all. So it leads me to believe that it has been removed. Since I can't verify, that's why I need your help. If you happen to get on San Andreas and you can check this out as well, the location is right here on the screen. Let me know down below in the comments does the photographer appear for you or not number five the ghost town i can't believe the ghost town has been omitted from grand theft auto 3 one of the most popular locations and secret locations i should say in grand theft auto that was really hard to get to because of the dodos or the skill that it takes to fly the dodo i'm a dodo and i can't fly the dodo so the ghost town again is no longer in its original location it doesn't mean it's been removed technically it's probably been moved way up into the sky into a different spot but the fact that one of the biggest Secrets in Grand Theft Auto is no longer there is a bit disappointing. But I guess you could say the ghost town has been replaced with a new ghost town in the Shoreside Vale area, which is just a bunch of blobs. I call this Blobville because that's what these homes look like. They're not detailed at all, and it's this just new addition that you can't get to in the Liberty City. And sticking with Grand Theft Auto 3 and this area, another interesting thing that has been removed is the developer names Easter egg. So what exactly is this? Well, in Grand Theft Auto 3, outside of the map, there was a list of names in the form of towns or cities just to give Liberty City a more real life and alive feeling by having fake towns outside of the map. But that has also been omitted 
from Grand Theft Auto 3's Definitive Edition. Why? I'm not sure. It was a simple Easter egg, but all of these developers, that was their names, and they were named after, or these towns were named after the developers, and once again, you can no longer see those because they're not there. While I have mentioned this in a prior video, I just want to touch base on it again because I know some of y'all haven't seen that. So there have been over 40 songs omitted from the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 3, if I recall, doesn't have any songs removed, but it's between Vice City and San Andreas. And this is obviously due to the music licensing rights uh, or copyright, all of that. Everything that goes into that, they expired uh, about 10 years ago, I believe. And I'm not sure how expensive of a process that is or the rights behind everything or the legalities that go into that but there have been over 40 songs removed from Grand Theft Auto's Trilogy Definitive Edition. Number 7, GTA San Andreas Multiplayer. Did you know that San Andreas had a multiplayer? It wasn't called GTA Online or San Andreas Online. It was just a simple two-player mode. And in this two-player mode, you would play a CJ as player number one, and then player number two could choose from various NPCs or pedestrian uh, character models. But that has been removed uh, Pretty obvious, I guess you could say, but simultaneously, in the PS4 version of GTA San Andreas, there was a method or a glitch that did allow you to play in the GTA San Andreas multiplayer, so uh, this was a feature that really wasn't too popular among fans, but at the same time, I'm sure there are tons of you out there who way back in the day did enjoy this. I remember playing it way back in the day one time on the PlayStation 2, probably around 2008, to be honest, but good times nonetheless. And safe to say, there were no Oppressor MK2s back then. Number 9, The Fog. So, once again, I touched base on this in a prior video, but I wanted to get a bit more in-depth on the scale of what's going on here. So a lot of fans are not happy with the fact that San Andreas is really small, and a lot of fans didn't know that San Andreas was that small until the fog was removed. So it made me think of the mission Stowaway, which is in the original San Andreas, and at the end of this mission, you are way above the map. You're so high up that you can see the whole thing without any fog, and that's always been a really beautiful sight for me just because it just... I don't know, the San Andreas map is, is really pretty in my opinion, especially from a bird's eye view, and I know that's a weird thing to say. But what I'm getting at is I think the map looks kind of neat without the fog. That's just my personal opinion though, and I know a lot of people aren't happy about this. So I will say a workaround is you can enable the fog cheat if you do not care about achievements and uh, you want the fog in the game. That's about the closest you're going to get. And lastly, to end the video on a kind of a boring note, some cheats have been removed and I can't tell you exactly which cheats because I don't know and despite all the research that I looked into, I couldn't find any. So maybe y'all can find this out. But either way, we do have some word from Rich Rosado in a recent IGN interview. And Rich is a producer at Rockstar Games. And he said, we actually had to remove a couple cheats for technical reasons. Certain things that didn't play well in the Unreal base. But that's actually where I'll leave it. There's some fun with Discovery. Uh, I'm not saying plus or minus, but I'd rather not just go right onto the nose before the release of the game and go straight to the end credits. Well, those are 10 things removed from Grand Theft Auto's trilogy, the definitive edition. Some major, some minor, but man. I just can't believe the ghost town is gone. Let me know what you think down below. I hope you learned something new or at least enjoyed the video. If so, be sure to join the channel and also click thumbs up. Thank y'all so much for all the amazing support and I better see ya in the next video.